What's up guys, in today's tutorial I have some really cool things I want to show you in Terminal. Um, we're going to learn about uh, redirecting and that's super duper cool. But before I do that, I want to show you how to use the command echo so that way piping will make sense. Okay, so if you do echo and then you just type things, it'll just print it to the uh, what's called, this is called standard um, output. Or as you can see, it's just a little, you know, to your console or to the screen um, underneath terminal, underneath your prompt. So I can echo different things. Um, you know, I can echo Ben. I can echo whatever text I want to, basically. Um, it's super simple. I just put the word echo, and then I put the, what I want to echo, and it prints it out, right? Well, let's say I would like to um, change this. For example, I would like to echo Ben to a file. Um, instead of it going to here, I would like the text Ben to be sent somewhere else. You can do that with piping. So I could redirect Ben to a file called abc.txt. So what this is about to do is it's about to create a file called abc.txt um, and it's going to store the text Ben in it. So if I hit enter and do an ls, we see we have two things, infinite.py and abc.txt. This is what we just made. Um, and then if we do cat abc.txt, we'll see Ben is there, sure enough. Um, if we echo um, Ben Awad, and now we cat abc, we'll see Ben Awad is there. So what this does is it takes whatever output that would be sent to standard output um, and the command before it, and instead sends it to abc. And it's not at all limited to just echo command, any command whatsoever. So for example, I could cat abc. Normally when I do cat abc, it would send the text to the standard output, right? Or to the console or to terminal right there, right? Well, I could cat abc and I could send it to dog. And if I do ls, I now have a dog file. And if I cat dog, it now says been a wad in it. Cool. So you can do this with um, any file whatsoever. And now what else you can do is let's say instead of creating the file like this, notice how this overwrites the file. For example, um, let's say I create another one called cat, we'll echo cat, we'll put it in cat. So if we see ls, we cat cat, we see cat, cool. So inside the file called cat is cat. <clears throat> now if I echo, or if I cat cat, we should see cat, and we do. If I cat cat and redirect that to dog, and now I cat dog, you now see the word cat. But let's say I want to, instead of replacing the file, I would like to append. So I'm just going to clear this real quick. Let's say I would like to echo Ben Awad, and I want to pin that to dog. So instead of doing this, I would do double, uh, what's it called, arrow. And if we just do cat on dog, we will now see Ben Awad. And we can do this again, and we see dog. Uh, it's added on there again. Very cool. This is looking nice. Um, so we use the single to make a new file and send it to a file. We use double for appending. Now the next thing I wanted to try show you is this is not this is you can do this on any command that you want. Um, any command I uh, I do before I could p do ls ls and stuff right here. Well, I could do ls and pipe that to. Um, a file called Q. And now if I cat Q, it shows all the output right there. Like any command you want, instead of sending it to the screen, you can send it to a file. Um, it's super cool. So I have this program called Infinite. This is a Python program. If we come over here, all it does is it goes to 1,000 and prints the numbers. So if we run this real quick, Python Infinite, um, you see it just prints a bunch of crap to the screen. Now, what this pipe is good for is a lot of times when you're running programs, um, you'll have output or something, and maybe you want to capture that and save that to a file. So infinite does all this crap. I want to save it to a file. Let's call it uh, let's call it big nums, um, and we'll just let that run for a little bit, and it's going to save all the numbers to a file called big nums. Um, now what I'd like to do, and I'm just going to clear this off, is if I do a count on big nums. Man, it just spits out a ton of numbers. That's disgusting. It's going to run for a while. I just want to like start looking at the file, right? What you can do is you can use a command called less. 
and the name of the file. So uh, I think, what, where do we put it, big nums? Um, and you'll notice um, it'll just show us the top of the file. And similar to the man files, we can use J and K to move around. So J to go down, K to move up. If you hit the space bar, it'll page down. And if you hit Q, you'll get out. But if we go back in, we can just go through and see the output of this file. We can see the contents of this file. And this lets us look through a file um, rather than just being dumped to a screen. Um, instead of catting big nums to see what's inside of it, another way is to use less and look inside of it like that. So that's pretty handy. OK, so these are uh, pretty important um, commands I just showed you. Pipe, or not pipe, excuse me. This is a uh, redirection. Um, this is to append, and then less will let you uh, then look at things. And of course, echo as well, just put stuff to the screen. Um, if you have any questions about how the pipes, um, or not pipes, sorry, I keep saying pipes, you'll learn pipes very soon. Those are very cool and important as well, too. But redirection, if you have any questions about redirection, um, let me know. It could be a confusing topic. Um, leave me a comment below, and I will be happy to answer your questions.